Hi everybody, how y'all doing? As you see in front of me, I'm here with an unboxing. Um, basically what I'm do doing this unboxing here is because I got dual kits. Two 8 gigabyte uh, memory DDR3 at CL18 1600 megahertz. I have purchased dual kits because you know dual kits come two memory and one. I got four because I'm bringing the speed up to my new motherboard which is the uh, Gigabyte motherboard, the um, LGA1155. This is 32 gigabytes right here, and in front of me here, I have the heat, the heat spread, this is by da, da, da C. Um, heat spread, this now, the motherboard by Gigabyte is blue and white, so I'm glad that I got, I picked the blue heat spread, this on this here now. Back in the days, with this here, Heat spreaders here. I use these here back when we had the uh, Saturn RAM when I was on the um, um, socket 370 Saturn RAM uh, 512 megabytes. Yes, and I had brought four of these uh, from New A back in the days, but I'm talking about back late 90s, early 2000 um, years in, the, in that time frame year. And this here was the best heat sinks I ever used by this company here. It kept my DD, it, let me get correct, it kept my Saturn RAM cool. Now I'm using it on my DDR3. Now, what I'm doing here is, is I'm gonna be installing them, getting everything ready for the pre-built, which is gonna be doing uh, Monday or Tuesday. I'm just waiting on my um, i7, 3770 to come in. So now the memory is by Kasuni. I went with this brand here, as you see right here, it is eight gigabytes, um, DDR3, 1600 megahertz speed, not ECC. Yes. And the reason why I went with this memory here because my gig G skill RS memory is on CL9. CL9. And I'm trying to go ahead and only get two more sticks for that. So I could just, but the person, they was charging them. They was charging like DDR5 memory. He wanted $199.99 for him. So I walked away. So I said, you know what? And I had to go ahead and look up all the reference. The, the good reference on YouTube, does memory speed matter? I mean, CL9 to CL11 is about two Two speed difference so you know the 9 is faster than 11 but it's gonna do what I wanted to do anyway because with my gaming rig which I'm doing the rebuild of that though is that um I've been doing more with it I've been playing my video games editing my video games and sometimes if I have a quick video I have to do I fire up OBS without going to my editing rig so this here is gonna work out just fine so just like I said uh, I got four sets of eight gigabyte that brings a total of 32 megabyte 32 correction 32 gigabytes of memory at 1600 megahertz speed at cl8 cl11 non ecc at 1.35 volts all right then now so now as y'all already saw let me get into the heat spread this guy i love this is an easy setup easy you cannot go wrong with that so now let's just go ahead and slide them out boom and look at that nice good blue. You cannot go wrong with that. That nice good blue is gonna be on fire when I set everything up. Now, like I said, it already got the um the tape inside. Make sure I have the bottom down, and it's simple and easy. You just go ahead on it and then snap them together, and then close it done smashing together because they got the pre of uh, the pre apply acrylic tape on it with the um with the um cooling pad underneath it so you cannot go wrong with that so now i'm gonna go ahead and do two sticks at a time i'm gonna go ahead and slide that off you want to be careful taking these off because as you know they do a little scratching but look at that nice good royal blue and yes my motherboard is blue and white now Keep in mind, I do want to go ahead on and not use cable mods if I can find the right color 
But right now, I'm just going to go ahead on and leave it as is. Because just like I said, with my Rosewell C, uh, special C100, I got that smoke tint glass that you cannot see into it. So, so that it is what it is. Um, what I'm going to be doing here is installing the heat sink. So I just go ahead and take care of this quick preparation right quick. So there will not be no issues with what I do. As you know, this is a dual kit here. It is on dual kit memory. The reason why I'm cranking up the 32 so it gives me four um, memory slots to go ahead and increase the RAM without taking out the two sticks and putting in two. So the motherboard is at its full capacity of memory. Alrighty, so now I'm just gonna go uninstall. Pull off the adhesive back. Oh gosh. Pull off the tape gently. Cause I'm moving everything in between it. Oh my gosh. There we go. This is the top piece. You want to get that done. And this is your bottom. Be very careful to peel off the, the, the adhesive tape. You don't want to go ahead and make a mistake and peel off the um, padding. Alrighty, so I'm going to take one memory. And then I'm just going to line it up perfectly in there. Make sure that your edges are on the outside. Oh gosh. Make sure your edges are on the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this just so I can go ahead and make sure my edges are on the outside. Not everything comes adhesive, so you have to be very careful of how you lining everything up. And then once that done, you lay it down perfectly. Alrighty, that's in. Now you just Add the top bracket onto it. Okay, so let me go ahead and put that on there a little too close. Because now I cannot close mine. So I'm going to do this same method here. Just be very careful. I had that a little too close. So now I'm going to do this here. I'm going to line it up like that. And then I'm going to install it in. Gently and easily. So my RAM won't be at the top plate of V. Okay, so now make sure I got that right. It's, gone, I'm gonna do, it's been a while because back then we didn't have the adhesive. We just had the the, 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 um, the padding was already already stuck down. You just had to just pile it. We ain't had the adhesive bracket on to it. So you have to be very careful to line everything up. And we are good to go. Well, this is gonna be more tricky than I thought. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna go back to my method. Oh gosh, y'all excuse this here, viewers. You know, just like back in the old school days, you just lined it up perfectly and. Everything was very well spot on. Uh, maybe, hold on, make sure I got the, yeah. Make sure I got that going right. I got that going right. And there we go, voila. Okay, so. Let me see. I think I've seen it here. They both the same. So let me just go ahead and line it up. Do the best that I can. Make sure. Oops. <sighs> okay, okay. Make sure I don't go too far up top. All right, we got that perfectly set on. 
Alrighty. See, back then and the, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, when I purchased these here, I probably said I purchased these here like in 2002. And I already had them on my uh, Saturn Ram, so that was pretty much the basic right there. As you know, it's on the adhesive holding, and then you just put your your clamps in place, and it'll keep it locked in place for you. Alrighty, so now let's open that back out again. Okay, that's one on already. And just two. Okay, voila. One down. But just like I said back in the old school days, you already had your adhesive pads already already on and then you just have to basically remove the paper, line up your RAM, and it goes on with, without the ease. So now I'm gonna go ahead on and, and line this one in. So before I pull the adhesive out, so I can go ahead and see a better method in doing this stuff. And I ain't figured it's gonna take me this long here. So, okay, so now I cannot put it too close. So I gotta put the RAM there. Cause don't forget that if you put it too close, you won't be able to snap on the back end, so. And boom. So now, okay, that's how it works. So, okay, I already had it lined up perfectly. Now I'll just go ahead and peel the adhesive back off. But just like I said, back in the, uh, when I purchased these said like in the late, early, not the late 2000, but the early 2000, like 2001 and 2002, when I was basically well on my Socket 370 motherboard with the Saturn 512. I had I had pushed that baby to the fullest. Yes, I did. And you want to like I said, you want to be careful. So and peeling these off. But just like I said, once I had that that the order these set from New Age years years ago. That's when New Age. That's when New Age was the um, top notch then. Now New Age allowed people to go in the stores and and especially as well as Amazon and I guess Microsoft will probably do it too. A lot of people to go in the stores. Purchase the parts, and then go on and, and sell them on the internet at, at a high-end, ridiculous price, which I can't stand that. But the main thing is that the PC parts are coming down. You know, uh, just like I said, I wanted to um, purchase the uh, other uh, G Skill Iris uh, memory. But the um, seller was selling it at one hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cent, the same price as um as DDR five. Now to all to all everybody, keep in mind when you buy stuff out the stores, it loses value. So when it loses value, you got to go ahead and put it on the blue book market. You just cannot sell, it. even though you don't use it or not. And it's still brand spanking new. You cannot sell it at the price or more prices for it. Just like the um, I went on Amazon for the um the uh, Gigabyte uh, LGA 1155 motherboard, and they were selling them as the top rated as the um the um LGA 1700s. They were selling it for that the, that that price range. I mean, I'm talking about the um. The high-end ones, the ones that go ahead and have all those VRMs and everything into it, and they were selling for like good two, three, four hundred dollars just for the motherboard. So my main thing is when you go on um, buying refurbished parts, just keep in mind that to all my um, refurbished shoppers, just keep in mind that um, always look for stuff that is a pretty decent and at a good reasonable price i was able to stay under my um my uh quota and buy parts so i didn't have not one problem with that all right so i'm gonna try this method here you know what let me see uh 
Okay, I'll well, use that plate. No, this is the basic of the bottom plate. And they all basically about the same anyway. So, but I'll keep this as my bottom plate. So I can go ahead and line this memory up perfectly. But, um, but, um, but, um, as I was saying, with these uh, here, we ain't had the adhesive back. It was already pre plot pay thermal pay. They can't, they can't separately like this here. So, and then it had a nice little, a nice little taping, like, 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 basically style form in the middle. So the um taping won't get all messed up. So, but it's good to go ahead and see stuff that you used back in the back in the past. Still around, so that's a blessing. Alrighty, on to the last and final one. Okay. Okay, I just got to raise this up. Just about an inch there. Okay, that's done and on. Okay, we're good to go. With that, and uh, the back in the day, that I was more younger than I am now, so I'll be pushing 48 this October. That's a blessing right there. You know, my eyes got raggedy over the years, so you know it, it bounced to happen. But I, I'm happy to know this to be living to be happy. So that's a blessing right there. And once again, I cannot close that because I got the doggone snack cable. I got this piece a little too high up. I got that set right. It just that I gotta drop this down just an inch. Okay, so now let's do it again. Okay, if you don't do it right, just keep the adhesive, but make sure that you keep your hands off of it. So you want to screw it up. They're going to give you plenty of multiple times in doing it. So, okay. So now we on. I never took this long to install some heat spreaders, but anyway, I'm doing it. <laughs> and I want to thank y'all viewers for watching. So like I said, I'm getting everything ready. I'm just going to get this out of the way now. So I could go head on and move forward with the build. Mm -hmm. Okay, three down, one more to go, awesome. And then, look, and then look how look 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 how good they're looking. Look at that little warrior blue looking good and clean, looking so mean. All right, the last one. I hope I could go ahead and do this fast. Like I said, I'm not in a rush. If I wasn't in a rush, I might I'll be buying some more. Oh, like I said, be very careful and peeling the adhesive tape off. Because if you don't, then you'll be peeling the um. The tape enough. Okay, make sure I don't go too far close on this one here. Okay, the light. Let me see if I'm just taking a look at it. I do have it right. Yeah, let me see. I could probably bring that in up just an inch. Cause they got your 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 line right there, so you don't want to go over that. So everything is lined up perfectly on that one. Boom! Smash it down and move on to the final one. You have to be very careful that some of it not pre applied properly, so you will be. And the thing here, I'm kind of color like 
you know, put like an adhesive peel-off guide for you. So I hope you're watching that install adhesive peel-off guide where you can go ahead and peel the um, top of the paper off. Okay, one end, that end, and yeah. Uh, okay, and we are in. Awesome. And done. Put your um, clamps on and finish. And that's it. She is done. Four sets of DDR3 32 gigabyte each for max. And this baby's gonna be flying. So I want to thank y'all for watching this quick install of the um Dahishi heat sinks color blue they come in two colors blue as well as silver now I know a lot of people built I know a lot of people on high end stuff so I mean, this is not for the high enders this is for the low end systems that's still going strong in 2022 and beyond if you have memory that don't have no heat sinks on them this is good this cell uh, you get two in a pack it is $9.99 per pack so that's a whopping of $20 for four pieces you get two packs for $9.99 so round that off to, to, to the nearest dollar that's 10 and um you're pretty good to go you can't go wrong with it um like I said for the ones who still on DDR3 or, or DDR2 or just DDR memory DDR memory then you be good to go Thank y'all for watching this quick install. Now, what's next is the build video, and I'll see you in that. Bye.